Good afternoon or evening, everyone. Welcome. Happy Wednesday. We are so glad you are here. My name is Katie Gideon, and I am dialing in from Houston, Texas. Um, as you can see, normally I got a lot more stuff around me, but I'm in the process of moving. So I'm so excited to take a break from that and do this amazing social with you guys. And for the first time in a while, you have Team Texas here. So I am super excited to be doing this with Jennifer O. Um, we are so excited to be here. It's been a while since you had Team Texas. A long but... time. We're glad to be working together today. It is, it is. And I think it's a fun combination, especially especially with these journal prompts, because Jennifer and I have um, usually slightly different approaches to these, but they complement each other so well. So I'm so excited to have her running the chat. And as you can say, we're excited to be here. So I can't wait to get started. So um, we are going to be working on the duality exercise on page 19 and the delight gumball machine on page 21. So if you uh, don't have your journal, go ahead and grab it. If you don't have it yet, don't worry. We provide some of the examples in there so you can use a scratch paper or you can take pictures and you can fill it in when you go because we have the whole month. This is only day three. So we've got ample time to work on these. Um, and then always make sure to set your chat to everyone um, so that you can share with um, the whole team, the whole social group that's on here. Um, but if you have just like a question, you can use the Q&A feature down at the bottom or you can message the host and panelists so that just Jennifer and I will see it. But we're so glad I'm seeing some returning faces. Always nice to see those. And I uh, love that I'm seeing some kind of newer names who have, haven't been to a journal prompt um, social yet. So these are fun. These are a little bit different. Um, but I will say these can get a little deep and a little uncomfortable, but that's why we're here. So moving into the kind of community guidelines around those is be kind and courteous to yourself and others. No promotions or spam, respect everyone's privacy, no hate speech or bullying, um, limit repetitive product and accessory questions. We can forward those to HQ. And then again, redirect all customer care inquiries to the appropriate folks. And then as always, Sonder Socials are a tool to help ele uh, elevate your emotional health through the power of community, but you are responsible for your own emotions, well-being, and decisions. Um, so make sure you're setting those kind of maybe mental boundaries as we navigate these. You should not walk away beating yourself up or feeling negative we are going to be able to tackle some of those negative reflection but we're always going to want to find kind of an optimistic action or a positive way forward um, at least that's my philosophy so that's how we want to do it um, and so we'll go ahead and talk through our agenda so with the new month uh, we have a new theme delight um, I always chuckle at delight. Um, I have a very sarcastic sense of humor. So as soon as I heard delight, I automatically thought of the like, you're such a delight, or are you being delightful? Because I feel like once upon a time, I had grandmothers that would tell me that when I wasn't behaving. So I am having a hard time embracing the kind of more genuine um, true kind of joy affirmation of delight, kind of the joy and excitement. So that is the kind of reasoning I'm going to kind of embrace, because like I said, I can't quite take delight seriously, because I feel like it's always the negative of like, you are not being delightful, you are actually being a pain. So those are in a little bit interchangeable with me. Um, so, but that's also what I love about the themes is you can kind of take it and run with it. So I am going to focus on the simplicity of delight and not the like, tongue in cheek meanings, but I feel like it's another one of those of like, as the new themes come, I like to kind of embrace it in my whole unique self. And sometimes that's truly loving it for all of its, you know, definition and synonyms and meaning. And then it's the other ones that I'm like, I can't say this with a straight face. Um, so that's why we love to do it. We love to embrace it. So we want to hear your thoughts and feelings around the theme because there are no wrong answers here and no one's grading this. So we're going to start with a delight activity, then we're going to move into our duality exercise as well as the gumball machine. So what's great is a lot of these you guys are going to be doing quite a bit of the work there. So it's going to be a good combination of really sitting and listening to music um, and working on it. So if you kind of finish an exercise early, um, you can keep working on it. You can take notes. You can always color in your color page. But we're just glad you're here to take this time out to focus on self-care for you. What do you need this week? What do you need today? And what do you need as we start to embrace delight? So now moving into our opening activity, 
So you can turn to a blank notes page, the scratch pad for the week, you know, your thoughts, journal, sticky notes, anything, because what we're going to start out with is think of someone who makes you feel energized and refreshed. This could be you. Um, but how do they make you feel invigorated? And then on a notes page, you can write a letter of gratitude to them. So I don't always follow his directions well. So letter writing is not my thing. Um, I think Jennifer is one of those that writes very beautiful letters. So I know there is a true beautiful sincerity in her approach to this. He like said, I'm a little bit more on the, I approach delight as kind of the almost like fleeting happiness thoughts that I have towards others. Um, and it's not because it's just fleeting. It's more of just the memories that pop up. They make you smile. I could just be sitting there doing nothing. And all of a sudden I will think of something that a friend did or a friend said, or a song will come on and it will remind me. And so I wanted to embrace some of those kind of smile moments. So I called them delight bubbles. <laughs> so you can obviously write a letter of gratitude. You can include different sections for different people in case you have multiple folks. And then you can always write the letter to your past self or maybe a future version of you. And then you can always write kind of different things of different writing styles. If prose is not your thing, you can write a list. I went with, again, the delight bubbles, which are thought bubbles um, or any kind of other imagery. I'm a big fan of the imagery and I do love being able to dig deep, but also then place it on imagery so that when I come across the next thought bubble, um, it just kind of makes me smile and I um, am able to kind of embrace that self-reflection moment. So I've identified a couple of my um, friends and family that kind of the delight bubble, um, for example, my sister always makes me laugh and smile because she has this ability to make up silly songs to verses. So when she's had a bad day, she will sing about it in a verse of just shenanigans. Um, and then my mother, she and I um, currently are bonding over book reading. Um, she's always been my biggest cheerleader. She was also a cheerleader in, in, in her past life. And then she's always been recently as I'm transitioning into like different milestones, new milestones, she's always dropping the deep knowledge. Um, and then I also included my dog as we're doing kind of some, we're doing some moving and shifting. So I feel a little bad for her. So I know I need to pay her a little bit more attention. So I owe her some delight because she's one of those that, you know, simple things make her happy. Um, so go ahead and turn to that notes page and um, you can start writing a letter. Please share with us maybe who you're writing the letter to and you can always mail it. Or if you're taking another approach similar to kind of maybe a delight bubble or something else that really speaks as a way to acknowledge and celebrate the delight that someone brings you or maybe that you bring to others. So I'm gonna give you some times to work on this and we will see you soon.
thank you everyone for sharing. Um, I loved seeing all of the approaches. I loved seeing that folks were writing letters, writing letters to multiple people. Um, and then I loved those that are embracing the, um, you know, thought bubble, delight bubble or clouds. Um, the rainbow idea I thought was beautiful as well. Um, but being able to kind of highlight and celebrate um, those that bring delight into your life. Um, but then I also believe, I think it was Shannon that mentioned also including yourself in those, um, because definitely you need to be a part of those what invigorates you. Um, and we are still to, to kind of acknowledge some of the, the self aspects that we have. So if you didn't include you, definitely start thinking on those terms, but love the opportunity to share and celebrate as well as I think it's always been surprising kind of what pops up with the power of pen to paper, because as you start going, kind of things drift, new ideas come in, in. Um, but I really, for sure, with this activity, wanted to embrace what I called the kind of fleeting delight moments, but it was more of those things that I could stop. Doesn't matter what I'm doing, but if I think about it, it makes me smile. Um, so thank you everyone for sharing with that opening activity. Now, please join us on page 19 in your journal. So this is the duality exercise. And I am another fan of duality exercises or anything kind of a T-chart format. The T-chart is the fact that you've got two columns lying across the top, down the middle. Um, and so we're going to embrace kind of the idea that being delightful and being um, happy is all kind of the positivity there. But then you can also kind of experience the opposite end of those within the same day. So as we always in this type of example, as you can have sun and rain, they all exist, it's all necessary. Um, so we're going to kind of explore the dualities of the qualities in your life because it's always important as we kind of move on our self-care journey is to embrace the quirky, wonderful qualities that make you you while also acknowledging maybe some of the things that you're working on, the things that you um, maybe are fixing or maybe they won't be fixed. And that's okay because they're not broken. They're just that unique part of you um, that you can embrace in kind of its full form. Um, so my example is the one on the left and um, here's some other kind of a ways you can approach it. So you can fill this out as things that you can do this month to reflect, or you can fill them out kind of in real time as you experiencing them. I am a big fan of the seesaw approach, but you can certainly look at these as two independent lists where it's like, I am all of these things, but I also am all of these things. Um, so like I said, I'm a seesaw fan, so what is the direct counter qualities? Um, the first one was like the first one I came up with, but I was so proud of it where it's like, I'm a perfectionist, but also working on accepting my mistakes. I will make mistakes because that just happens. It's more of the accepting those mistakes, kind of narrowing down on the fact that I'm gonna try not to dwell on it anymore. But then what I realized as I went, I kept getting deeper and deeper to the point of, focusing internally on kind of me. So these are my characteristics and these are the counter to my characteristics. You can obviously expand out to include like I am, you know, these type of qualities that are in relationship to people, places or things. But I challenge you to keep it more of the internal um, qualities, characteristics, some of those components that make you you. And then as always, what are the, some of the duality, maybe affirmations that you use to delight you? So as I said, for one, you know, I feel like it's the, the, the um, cliche almost affirmation of I am alone, but I'm not lonely. Um, so that was kind of one of those we went. But as I kind of realized more, I wanted to embrace some of my hobbies or some of those things where it's like, I'm a reader, but coincidentally, my spelling and grammar are not great. I'm a terrible speller. It drives everybody nuts. Um, I am an extrovert, but I definitely love the me time. Um, I'm a decent cook, but also a mediocre cleaner. Um, and then I am good at my job, but I'm also very outnumbered. And that's not only just like the kind of philosophy that I have, the work I have, but I've also worked in predominantly male dominated fields. So it's why I'm good at it, but there's still that also just outnumbering component. And then I feel like a tougher one that really got me kind of choked up, hit me a little bit in the gut was that I'm a good friend, but I also wish I had more time for them and that's on me. So as I realized, as I got deeper and deeper into this, it was um, kind of embracing some of those, but being able to stare at those again on the positive side and then seeing that duality on the other side. 
Um, and so here's kind of a grounding that I needed to tell even myself as I approach this is that remember that everyone has flaws and makes mistakes. Um, this is not an opportunity to compare and despair. Set up those mental boundaries if that's what you need. And then embrace obviously breaking from perfection. That's why we're here, that's part of it. So that's the journey we take. And then I always try to think of what can I put in place of the negative around the imperfections so that I don't just dwell in the negativity of it. Can I find a positive affirmation to account it? Can I come up with maybe an optimistic action that I can take? Or do I just need to start working on accepting that in all of its you know, messy, messy glory? Um, so uh, this is something to work on. Um, we'll check back in, but let us know how it's going. I'm gonna stop talking, you guys start working. But again, we're on page 19, exploring this kind of duality. There's a prompt listed at the top, but again, I've tried to reframe some of these and it's definitely one of those, it can get a little tough, but be gentle, have some grace, take some deep breaths. You can always close your eyes, just have a moment or just take notes and then maybe come back to it. But we are here and we will see you in a minute.
Just a quick check in, everyone. We're going to keep working on this just a little bit longer, but I wanted to take this opportunity to do a quick check in um, of <clears throat> one, there are no right or wrong answers here. So I love that everyone is sharing everything here. And what I love seeing is almost that connection across all of the folks that are here of just seeing kind of people having the similar thoughts and feelings when it comes to, um, you know, the positive qualities and the great things that you um, find delight in about yourself. And then kind of that duality of some of those that are maybe are less than um, perfect moments. Um, but then what I also enjoyed seeing is that once people, they said, once they started writing, they were able to just kind of keep going. And I did find that as well. And to the point I got really excited about this exercise after it, even though I got kind of stuck a little in, in the thoughts and the feelings and the squishy things that it was causing me to feel in the end. But I'm going to pull um, from this list each line and I'm going to kind of use that more of my journal prompts for the rest of the week as just to kind of deep dive a little bit more of why did I come up with these reasons or why I came up with these examples. Because I think as what we've all noticed is there's some complication here. There's complicated components. The fact that you can then stare at these two lists and compare to them just in the kind of the squishy things, the squishy thoughts and how it can be just kind of a complicated machine that that is what we are. Um, and then you can always use kind of the specific instructions at the beginning of the page. But that's what's kind of fun about these socials is we like to provide other ways to reframe the idea in case you get a little stuck or if it's something that you just quite don't know how to start or where to start. And then again, you guys provide so much inspiration, not only to us, but to everybody in the group. Um, so we love to share those. So again, no rules or requirements. You don't have to follow these directions or instructions. There, are, no one is going to grade these. So keep working and keep sharing, you know, your complicated duality of your unique personality.
Thank you everyone for sharing. Um, I think we all embrace just the challenge and complications that we are. Um, and what to me seemed like, you know, a fairly simple-esque type exercise where you look at it, it's like, ah, oh, two lists, no big deal. But when you actually take some time to kind of read and give yourself that permission to kind of dive a little deeper, like I said, it, the, the, the powerfulness of this snuck up on me, where I always say these are a little bit deeper, they come out of nowhere and the tears were starting to get there. And then being able to share that connection with everybody here, it was one of those as each kind of new share was going by, it was like, yes, I feel that too. Yes, that speaks to me. And I feel like we covered all kind of aspects of life to just be able to embrace it kind of in this format. Um, so thank you everyone for being vulnerable and for sharing and for being honest, but not only being honest with the group, but honest with yourself. Um, because you can, now that you've kind of done this kind of harder work, you can use that to kind of propel the rest of the month to figure out how within this duality can you find the delight can you find those like fleeting moments of happiness and joy and excitement while still express you know embracing you know nature is its powerful force you're gonna have to accept those days when it rains but hopefully they're not long days hopefully they're short showers and the sun will come out um and so you can embrace again all of those different aspects and the complication that is uniquely you but you can use those tools to move forward and now we're going to switch gears just a little bit because now we're going to do one of those really kind of fun exercises, which is the delight gumball machine. So I love these different type of versions of them because you can now kind of choose your own adventure. So you can choose six things in life that bring you delight and then you can color a gumball each time you complete one. So that's definitely the lovely straightforward answer, but we've got a couple other options. Um, so for me, I love a good theme. So the theme I've picked is kind of the simple things. So for me, the simple things that I get excited about that bring me joy are reading, playlists, uh, music playlists, movies and TV shows, just talking to anyone in my family, all things my dog, and then bath bombs. I get so excited about bath bombs. I love bath time. I am definitely, I saw someone that was like, I'm an adult, but I'm also a five-year-old at heart. Um, so it's always fun to pick a theme. You can do kind of a to-do theme, a to-don't theme. It can be around spring. It can be around kind of almost like another task, um, if that's kind of what you need for this month or this week. But it can also be embracing some of your hobbies or your self-care, um, because it can be like, maybe how can you share some of the things that you get excited about or that you delight in? Or how can you maybe show yourself some of those delights? These can be something that you add kind of in real time and activities at the bottom. Or another version that I even thought of was instead of putting specific tasks and color coding them, it was just gonna be anything that made me smile or made me happy or something that I got excited about the day. Um, and I was gonna just like grab a color and color it in to then see how quickly I can fill my kind of gumball. But it was just like those, again, embracing the simple things or those fleeting moments of excitement that just kind of sneak up on you during the day. Because I feel like to me, those are the most satisfying moments of delight of just sitting there, and then realizing that you're smiling or laughing or chuckling about something. Um, so you got a couple different options. Um, like I said, you can turn it into, again, more of a kind of fun version of a tool. So if you're trying to do savings, um, other kind of aspects that you can kind of bring delight in, is it places, is it emotions or feelings, um, foods, past, present, and future. I provided an option for maybe incorporating some of those kind of self-care around a May theme. Um, but then you can also, if you go maybe on the to don't or the, um, you know, don't list, I know I've done a lot of weekly setups, so the to do, the to da, and the to don't, maybe it needs to be what things don't bring you delight and how many times you were able to find something instead. So if it's like dwelling on negative, knowing that a negative idea was coming, did I counteract it and turn it into something delightful? And then there are other ways to kind of incorporate other kind of maybe fun habits that you can kind of bring in some delight. Um, I included like spring routine options, but then also it's a 
you can acknowledge maybe celebrations. Um, my family, we have a lot of kind of summer celebrations and it definitely starts with my sister's birthday that was yesterday. And then we roll into the Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, and then a bunch of birthdays. We got a lot of June birthdays. So for me, it's definitely embracing some of the celebrations or simple pleasures, any conveniences that make you really happy. Um, I was without a dishwasher for a while. And so I love my dishwasher every single day because we are now best friends and I will never not have a dishwasher. So you can definitely make the this like kind of as you know as impactful as you want but this can also be something that just brings you joy something that can be fun not one of those diligent trackers um and then maybe you're just not really in the mood to kind of embrace it and the exercise it's another coloring page um you know i love it one of those things it's always fun um do whatever you feel what needs to be you what you want to do what are the things you want to get excited about and i'll give you some time to work on it
thank you everyone for sharing all your wonderful gumball ideas. And then when I talk about, I'm going to embrace kind of the simple things. Um, Let's go crazy is one of my favorite songs because I remember singing it as a kid when I would go to soccer tournaments with my best friends, we would be in the back singing it full volume with her parents. And so I feel like those are just one of those I always want to sing. And then there's that like moment at the end, the like, right before the guitar solo where you can do the like head bang to the slow down, but love it. So I feel like I am moving into that direction of just embracing kind of the fleeting as well as those just like moments of small happiness that I get throughout the um, day. But thank you again for everybody sharing your not only kind of the work that was done on the duality exercise with the gumball machine. Can you believe we have reached the end? It always goes by so quickly. But we are so glad you spent um, an hour on a Wednesday in the middle of the week with us. Um, you guys were amazing. I loved seeing and inspired by everything that you do. So it's been so great. Um, as always, um, if you aren't a part of the Sonder Club, please um, join because we love to share any of these exercises. We'd love to see where you're tracking, especially when it comes to the gumballs, kind of that excitement that we can go around. Um, you can obviously refer a friend. And then definitely, please, please, please fill out the survey. Um, Jennifer is putting some of those links in the chat um, because we read everything. That is why we have as many socials as we have. That's why we have the type of socials that they are, the different days of the week, the different time options. Um, and then as always, if you um, missed any event, um, if you had to leave early, if you showed up late, um, the YouTube link is there. It is unsearchable. Um, but I feel like even there are days when even I need a social and there isn't one scheduled. So you can go and search any of the ones that you've missed um, opportunity to kind of pause. You'll definitely have the slides and the facilitator, um, most of the music, but there is no chat, which is okay. Um, but it's always there for fun. And then here is my playlist. I will also put the link um, to the Spotify uh, list there. Um, I create the playlist for all of my events. I get really excited about it. They make me happy. And so to close this, like I said, we're gonna have to think back to the beginning when I said I love sarcasm and I have a sense of humor. So this next song, Delight, embraces that full sarcasm moment that I have with delight. Um, because at the end of it, we're freaking delights. And so this is lovely. I am so excited to share it with you. Thank you everyone for joining. We are so glad you are you're here and you took this time to yourself and we will see you again. Thank you.